right, Soph? Yeah, all right. What are you fancying for your tea tonight? Well, it's a bit early to be thinking about that, innit? I've got to plan these things, you know? <laughs> oh, I always just had the most hilarious text from Kyle. I mean, I don't care if that boy's a world-class footballer. He should be a stand-up comic. What are you fancying for your tea tonight? Kyle and toast. <laughs> well, mind you, that is quite club heavy. Babe, just look at that. Look, I've got to plan these things, you know? <sighs> you know, you don't have to cook every night, Dad. Oh, so what am I going to do? Get Jamie Oliver in? Oh, no, I don't want him spitting everywhere. Soph's a good cook. Shut up. And that is so late. You know, they say a guy can laugh you into bed. I mean, I never understood that before. Lasagna? But I do now. Do you know what it says, Dad? <laughs> I dread to think. Why are you all dressed up? I'm going shopping. Sophie, I'm going out with a professional footballer. I mean, do you ever see Victoria Beckham pop into the shops in Ugg boots and a cagoule? I've never seen Victoria. No! She always looks immaculate. Dad, it's right, Kyle comes around for his tea tonight. Uh... Thanks, kisses. <clears throat> Kieran's. I've got a stinking hangover, you know. Yeah, I haven't. Do we mention last night? Is uh, Simon up yet? Peter, I can't make work today. Why? Because I've got stuff to do. Stuff? What stuff? Just stuff. Can you cover for me, thanks? Trev, I've met you, bro. I've got to get off to work. I must have been well drunk last night. Charming. Put her in no boiler like you. Mm. <laughs> well, I definitely have my beer goggles on. I want my cabin A7 young goggles on anyway. Love it when you talk dirty. Mm. Hey! If we start doing mucky stuff now, I'm going to be late for work. What's the worst that could happen? But if indeed it is a quiet zone and there is a notice restricting the use of mobile telephones, then those rules should be adhered to at all times. Do you, do you not agree? John Stapers, I live and breathe. How are you going, me old mucker? Eh? Colin. I wonder where you got to. Hey, look at you. You got out of teaching. Something I can get you on. Although I wouldn't recommend your way of doing it. Only joking, only joking. Although I often thought that Rosie Webster was a bit of all right. Colin and I were teachers together. Ah, let me guess, coffee, milky, three sugars, or would you just come to gloat at how the mighty have fallen? Not at all. But yes, I will have that coffee, please. You're in a very good mood. Gloating suits you. I am buoyant, John, because I too have managed to get out of teaching. Although I did not kidnap a bonny young lass to do it, that has to be said. Why are you here? Hmm. Kong's Wagwan. I heard you were here. One? In joke from school. And I've come to invite you to my leaving do. Which is when? Esta noche, Juan. Tonight? Oh. Well, I'm not sure how I'm fixed, really. I'm married now. We have a teenager living with us. In the attic? Our staff room parlance regularly veered towards the Mickey taking. Clearly. <clears throat> oh, bring your wife. I'd love to meet her. Come on, mate. For old times' sake, I want you there. All right, I'll get this. I don't know. I don't even know where you live. Where I've always lived. But not for much longer. I'm emigrating. Ah, wh where to? Canada. Big place, Canada. Mm, fresh air, maple syrup, Kim Cattrall. Canada rocks. Come on. So what are we going to do today? Don't know. What do you want to do? Don't know. We can't sit around here all day kissing and that. Why not? 
Well, I don't know where you've been. Yeah, right, I'm not a <laughs> what's it. What? Well, what's the male equivalent of a slapper? I don't know. Well, I'm not one of them anyway. Yeah, well, you better flipping not be. <laughs> we said we were going to go bowling. Oh, yeah. I found something. Uh, what are you phoning her for? Because uh, she's my best mate. Well, what about me? Well, you're my fella. Deal with it. Well, I was just kind of hoping that we'd... What? Have the day to ourselves. Hmm. Dead sweet, aren't you? Yeah, well, you know, you're always banging on about how we never spend any time together. I was just thinking that today... OK, you win. It's not about winning. It's not a competition between me and Sophie. Psst. Oh, isn't it? No. And even if it was, I'd always win. Why? Oh, Sophie can't do this. <laughs> all right, all right, keep your hair on the equipment. Pick the door off the hinges. Which elk is that gagging for a drink? Oh, that elk here. All right. Well, I was till you walked in, yeah. What do you want, Leanne? I've come to apologise, haven't I? Have you? Yeah. I was bang out of order last night, thinking that something were going on between you and Peter. What am I like, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know, hilarious. I just love it when people accuse me of being loose. Really puts a spring in me step. Look, I've already said I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Cook an humble pie and eat a piece? Might we start? Go on the internet, look for the recipe. Look, I was out of order with everybody, and I'm sorry, I swear. It's just, I really, really need your help with something. What, exactly? Could you get Peter in here tonight? I want to surprise him. Why can't you get him in here as your fella? Or have you had a Barney? I'll do what I can. Thanks, Kieran. See ya. Piece of work. Go on, kid. Them bins won't get empty by themselves. I feel a bit bad. Why wasn't that lousy, was I? No. No. Just last night. I was with you last night, as well you know. I was meant to have chips with Janice. Oh. <laughs> and instead you had passion with me. Well, I, I wouldn't feel too bad, Trev. Most people would call that a result. <laughs> oh, but it might be fun. He's a Mickey taker. It's all in jest. But, but didn't you used to have a laugh with the other teachers? I've not seen any of them since... You came all this way to invite you. It's all this like... way? It's not exactly L.A. to New York. Oh, and an ice finger for Carla. Sorry. Oh. She just rang and said she's on her way in, demanding confectionery. John, are you embarrassed? No. About what? Nothing. Prison? Well... I'm worth ten of that lot. What? You've only ever talked... Fondly about your colleagues before. Why don't we go? I'm dead on my feet after a day in here. Was I invited as well? Yes, you were. Might be fun. Oh. It's like I had a road to Damascus experience. That's rather Old Testament of here, isn't it? It's just, you know, seeing how she was with everyone on Monday with the family, I just knew. Just knew I'd never find another woman like her. Oh. And how do you feel now, after last night's debacle? I feel a bit foolish, really, you know, proposing on the back of everything that happened. I mean, I know now it just allows hey. it. Hey! Hi, mate. How's it going? Oh, you know, sorry, you, you just caught me in the middle of a woe-is-me moment. Well, just look at me as Prozac in human form. Viagra in human form. Joke. Fancy a game of darts tonight? Throw a few arrows, cheer you up? No, thanks, mate. I think I'm just going to stay in and just wallow in a vat of self-pity. Hey, no offence. So I'm taking. I'm not taking no for an answer. I think it's a great idea. And if Peter's not free, I'm sure I am. Come on, Pete, man, you've got to save me from the clutches of an older woman. He am not that old. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just hand them out? What? It's less messy this way. But they're washing up. Oh, stop moaning, Janice. Fizz, can I tell you something? Yeah, what? It's Trev. Trev? What about him? Well, he never come home last night. I bought chips and everything. Oh. 
What if he's lying dead in some gutter somewhere? I, I am his landlady. I've got responsibilities to him, Fizz. Oh, well, have you phoned him? No. Well, why don't you try? Yeah, not a bad idea, that, actually. Here's a chocolate donut. Ta. Better take the iced finger to the ice maiden. Uh, I, I can do that. All right. I believe you wanted an iced finger. Thanks, Janice. You'll make somebody a lovely wife. Oh. Is that Trevor's phone? There's no flies on you, is there? Janice Marple, they should call me. Yeah. Could you uh, give it back to him? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Thanks, Janice. How come you've got it? Well, I'm a kleptomaniac. So, old auntie ran back, Carla's in town. Did he stay with you last night? Only he didn't come home, so. Is it any of your business, Janice? Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. See, my private life is exactly that. It's private. So when he comes home and starts telling me all the gory details, I'll just put my hands over my ears and sing Misty. How's that? <laughs> In there. What are you up to? Are you still working? Yeah, just there now. <laughs> you got out. You said you would. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. Yeah, you too. Oh, listen, I'm really sorry. I can't stop right now, but what are you doing in about half an hour? Well, I don't start work till midnight, so... Right, well, see that pub over there? Yeah. Meet me in there in about half an hour, yeah? <laughs> All right. You take care, Sal. Yeah, you too. Ta-da! That's not ready. Isn't it? Not unless you want to give us our food pies and then no. Why? Is it supposed to be burnt on top? Mm. What are we having with it? What do you mean? It's dead filling. Hi guys! Mm. Guys, this is Kyle. Kyle, this is my dad and I was Sophie. Isn't he gorgeous? You alright? Alright. Hi Kyle, nice to meet you. I'm Kevin, Rosie's dad. <laughs> Hasn't he got a firm handshake? Ooh. I uh, hope you like lasagna. Dad! What? Uh, I said I wanted something low carb. Oh, I love lasagna, me. Oh yeah, 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 me too. I'm like so into Italian food. I like um, garlic bread, dough balls, tiramisu. <laughs> so, tiramisu. As you can see, my sister's a total geek freak. Probably because she's a sad, lonely spinster. Uh, that's enough, Rosie. Do you want a lager, Kyle? Oh, I've never seen no to a bevy, mate. How long's tea gonna be? Probably about a foot long. <laughs> but it is lasagna. About 15 minutes. <laughs> Right, well, I'm going to see Sha. Uh, don't be long. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that is so funny, Kyle. <laughs> is it? Hiya. Can you meet me without Ryan? Um, have you heard from Mum today, Dad? My mum's going to stay with my aunt Phyllis, you know, to get her strength back. <sighs> really takes that off your cancer. This should be posh enough for him. Did he say whether there'd be food? He usually does canopies. Oh, right. We can always stop for chips on the way back. Can we? We don't have to go, you know. How do I look? Beautiful. <laughs> Come on, then. Time I showed you off. Hiya. Hiya. So, uh, <clears throat> where have you been hiding all day, then? Nowhere. Look, I've, uh, I've shut up the shop early, Leah. I thought we could have a, a bit of a chat. Well, I've got stuff to do, so... Oh, right, well... Uh... Sorry. No, I, hang on, Leah. I'll, I'll let me come in with you. Well, there's no point, because I'm going to be going back out again, so... Anyway, I think Kieran's after a word with you. Hey, how's it going? Been better, mate. The hand's acting very weird with me. How much of a half and come to the pub with me? There's a slim line tonic with your name on it. I swear. Look, whatever madness happened in that pub last night, you know, I think it's rectus. I, I really do. 
Listen, tell me about it in the pub. Come on. Do you know what, mate? This could be the start of a very heady romance. Oh, hang on. Sugar. What now? Somebody's got to pick Simon up from Claire's. Yeah, Leanne can do that. No, uh, really, you, you don't know what kind of mood she's in. Well, why don't I ring Claire and tell her that you're running a half an hour late? Well, if you want to chat, just come down and walk down with me. Peter, friendship is about give and take. Yes, I know that. Yeah, so trust me. You're giving in, and I'm taking you to the pub. Hiya. Hi. Oh. Ah, you thought your luck was in then. Oh, but... What are you playing at? Guess what it is. Well, hang on. What are you doing? I'm your girlfriend. I'm a man. But, well, last night you were banging on about me, putting it about a bit, and today you're all over me like dermatitis. Shut up and kiss me. Hey, Deirdre. How are you being on my life? Well, depends how old you are. 36. Oh, well, in this pub mostly. Ugh, get a room, you two. I don't know if I can do this. Hey, no, we're not turning back now. No. And besides, I'm bursting for the loo. I'm not going in the bushes. What's these weird messages you have? Meet me, but don't bring my in. It's because I've got something to tell you. It's been playing on my mind all day. Well, what? <sighs> Ryan tried to kiss me the other day. You are joking. And he told me not to say anything, but what kind of friend would I be if I did that? And I wasn't going to say anything until I seen you was back together, and I just thought you should know. Sophie, it takes two to snog. No. Well, he forced himself on me. I was only trying to give him a hug. Oh, I? Yeah, because you would split up. Oh. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to have it out with him, aren't I? Come yeah. on. You want me to come too? No, well, that way he can't wriggle himself out of it, can he? Lee, what, what are you Sorry. doing? Oh, your son's gorgeous. Oh, he's not mine, sadly. <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Paul. Thank you, Simon. Give it to us, Simon. Is he going to sit there all night? He's in the way. You really got out of the wrong side of the bed this morning. You see, if I got down like that, I'd never get up again. Nonsense. You're as young as the man you feel. He's 70. <laughs> what are you doing now? Peter Barlow. I know I can be a bit of a nightmare and a stroppy cow sometimes, like last night when I really screwed up things, but... Hmm. Don't you go on. <laughs> Peter, will you do me the immense honour of marrying me? I went to the shops. I know fellas don't usually wear them, but it is an engagement ring. You are allowed to say no. What do you think, Si? You could do a lot worse. <laughs> Thanks. I will if you will. So will I! <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hey! How do you know, Leanne and Peter? Oh. I'm Leanne's stepmom. Oh, right. Do you know what I used to work with her? Leanne. Well, right. Excuse me a minute. Oh. Hey, yeah. All right. What's the gossip? Oh, uh, nothing. Just, uh, just talking about World Cup. Fascinating. <laughs> I've got that for you. Carla had it for some reason. Oh right, yeah. Ta, uh, yeah. Uh, while well, I've got you, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry about last night. Last night? Yeah, we were meant to have chips and. Oh, oh, was it last night? I completely forgot. <laughs> oh right, okay. We can have chips on way on, can't we? Yeah, yeah, or later on, or... Yeah. Right, well, I'm just making it to Yeah. Can I get you a drink, Jack? No, no, you're all right. I've got one. Not bad lady. Rather you than me. Fancy baby in town? Um... Possible. No, cheeky mare. I've just lit a Jostly. Is Glenda here? No, she left me, didn't you hear? Oh, was Glenda your wife? Uh, ran off with a man she met at Weight Watchers. Serves me right for banging on about her size, I guess. Juan! Oh, I didn't realise it was fancy dress. Sorry. Um, Charlotte, this is my wife, please. Blink, blink, busy. Well, 
So, how are you diddling? An awful lot better now that I've seen you, Tiger. Charlotte's the head of RE. Her worksheets on concepts of suffering in Christianity and Buddhism have to be read to be believed. Oh, right. Have you all been gossiping about me behind me back then? <laughs> what? You and Josie Blebster? Oh, news, darling. Sad news about Colin Hill. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Sorry, Fizz. One. See, not so bad, is it? I've forgotten how mental they all were. Oh, they seem nice. But that is definitely not a joystick. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, you must be a bit dense then. You did. You tried to snog me. Are you getting off on this? Will you leave her out with it? Why should I? This is all her fault. She's trying to split us up. Oh, have you heard yourself? She's my best mate. Do you know what? I hope you do split up. Because obviously you can't be faithful. She's making it up. Oh, as if. Why would she do that? Because she fancies me. Oh, please. I've got sight in both eyes, Ryan. She does. She's twisting it. What? She's always fancied me. She's always saying, God, if only you were single. He's lying. Is he? What? You can't honestly believe him. We were always sticking your oar in. Maybe that's why. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Do you know what? You used to deserve each other. Have a nice life, yeah? Coronation Street continues Sunday at 7.30. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Triwizard Tournament. If chosen, you stand alone. These contests are not for the faint-hearted. Also available on ITV1 HD, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is next. Mm -hmm.